Hello, it's Wendy Brightbill and it's Monday and I thought since I haven't done a vlog in like forever that I might as well do a vlog today. So things have just been busy around here. I have been basically just working a lot on my classes and I've also been trying to get everything finished for my show. If you look behind me, you can see uh, one of the pictures that I just painted. I don't know, can you see it now? So it's love and it's really fun and I actually painted it for my bedroom but I thought I would just put it in the show because it's really fun. So I'm just trying to finish up all the last touches for, you know, getting some more paintings done for the show. And I am, I don't think I've shown you guys all of them yet. Hold on just a second. Okay, so here's some of the paintings for the show. There's this one. I think I've shown you guys this one before. Some of them are new and some of them aren't. Um, there's this one. And er, there's this one. There's this one. And there's this one. So these are like, um, I think they're 11 by 14s. So I think I have some 9 by 12 canvases that I'm going to paint. And then I've also been working on doing originals on watercolor paper with some stitching and stuff. And that is going fairly well. And I'm just thinking that I'll map those for the show. So that'll be really fun. And I'm actually really getting absolutely stoked for August because it's just going to be so much fun with my show. And basically, also my daughter is starting kindergarten in August, which is just crazy to think. She's my oldest, and so it's exciting and a little bit scary at the same time. But I'm sure it'll be amazing. She's my little, she's my painter. She's the one who loves to paint, and she's very, very social. So I think that she will be more than overjoyed about starting kindergarten this next in the next few weeks. So I have been working on, you know, just some different techniques for my my altered book class that I do on Mondays. And I kind of randomly discovered this this technique that um that I'm going to show you guys today. It's a resist with wax paper. And it's really interesting because, yeah, I've never done it before. And I, I know that you can like iron wax paper and do a resist that way. And I haven't tried that yet, but I all I basically did was I took some gesso and I stuck my wax paper to the gesso. And so here's one that's already finished. And you, you stick it in when it's like totally, totally wet. And then it gets like this funky texture. And then now I'm going to go over it with some water-based products. So this is kind of an experiment for me. I have only like happened, I only happened upon it because I was painting the other day and I was painting in my class. And what I did was I was working on a page and I shut the wax paper on the page so I could go on to the next page because I was demonstrating and uh, and the wax paper kind of fused to the gesso and so then when I went to paint over it there was like some of the wax paper there and I thought huh this might be there might be something to this so we'll see uh, this is the first time I've tried it and so basically that's how I work in art like I I just kind of make mistakes and then I 
it, they're like happy little mistakes. Like basically it's all about the process, but they're like happy mistakes because it wasn't what I intended to happen, but then I find other ways to use materials that I never even would have thought of. And so it's just kind of fun and that's just how I like to work. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys painting on this and then I'll show you again how, basically how I did it. So I'm gonna change the camera around just a bit. Okay, so here's pretty much the moment of truth. The, the paper feels really, really funky and if anything, it made a lot of texture even if it's not necessarily a resist. So, here is the moment of truth. I need to get my wet wipes real fast though, hold on. Okay, so here's the moment of truth and I have my paper that I have gessoed and then fused wax paper onto and then I've just pulled it right off. So even if it doesn't act as a resist, which I can't imagine that it wouldn't, but even if it doesn't, it has like this amazing texture to it, so I don't really care. So I'm just gonna start spraying some of my spray inks and then just wiping it up. So, it's actually kind of cool because it's, it's just got a really cool texture to it. But see, look, it is actually working as a resist because right up here in the corner, it didn't stick to the page and that, you can see how that ink is like way more saturated than the rest. And I think I'll just add some more greens in here. Yeah, this is pretty cool. It's kind of really different for sure. It's different than anything I've done before. And see how it's like really saturated right there? So it's definitely resisting the parts where the wax paper was on there. It's very interesting. I think this next one I do, I'm only gonna like stick wax paper down like in certain sections to see what happens. Because see here you can see where there's, where the paper actually didn't stick right there. So it's really kind of interesting because it's like a different surface so I'm not sure exactly what I would what I'm gonna put over this now just because it's so different than anything I've tried okay so let's try this again and let's try on this side over here let me get this piece of wax paper out and we'll actually use we'll just use this piece because it's already ready so I I'll show you what I did real fast all I did was, when I was gessoing my page, let's see if I can get some gesso out. Um, I just took my brush, which kind of needs to be cleaned a little bit. I just took my brush, and this is what I do anyways to start my pages, so it's not like really anything new. And it's gonna pick up a lot of this green over here because I sprayed over here, which is totally fine with me. Okay, so now here's what I'm gonna do this time. I think I even did a little bit more gesso. Um, just to make it kind of a thicker coat of gesso. 
Okay. Now, what I'm gonna do is this. I'm gonna take my wax paper, and I even think that the side that the color is on is gonna be kind of cool because I'm pretty sure this is the, it has like some color from, is it that side or this side that it's on? I can't tell. I think it's on this side, but I don't know. Um, Cause it has some of that color in there. So I'm just gonna like take my fingers and just in random sections, I'm gonna stick it to my page, leaving it sticking up, like not doing the whole thing. I'm just gonna kind of do it in preferred areas, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Instead of going all the way across the page, I'm just doing like little sections. And you can even like, do etched in with this way like you could go like that but I don't know that I really want Barney showing okay so now here's the key is that now we're gonna need this to dry on here and then I'm gonna come back and then it'll be like this page over here only the resist won't be on like the entire page. It'll just be in portions of this page. So I will be back after this dries and we'll see how it turns out. Whoa.